that goes there. Yeah. I'll be, I'll be hella high. Yeah, and I'll be hella high. Yeah, yeah. I be going up and I ain't never coming down. No, no. And I'll be in the sky. I've been like the 4th of July Yeah, yeah. and I be hella high I be going up and I ain't never coming down And I be in the sky I've been like the 4th of July Yeah, yeah What's up, y'all? It's Legend Made. I'm here with the artist Vintage Ripper. Yo, 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 yo. Dig that flat. Man, you know, I'm trying to expand, you know, trying to let other people who not really cheap and right now get get their chance to come and talk. Type shit. Yeah, you know, so, you know, it's cool. He gonna, he gonna cheat this sick and I'm gonna... Yeah. Nigga done defined me like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga defined me as the non-chief. I feel it. Nah, it's on crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, man, I'm smoking on that. Um... New boy, our father OG today. So man, um, vintage man, tell mm -hmm. everybody what you got going on, man. I done heard of, I done been hearing about you for years on yeah, shit. Yeah, shit, yeah, my shit, nigga, just really getting it out to you know what I'm saying. Like my nigga producing, if a nigga got a rap, nigga got an engineer, you know what I'm saying. Nigga just really spreading their talent, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, 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 producing, huh, man. You know, like, like I said, I've been hearing a lot about you. You know, I know you done worked with a lot of. A lot of artists out here that yeah, like, yeah. people probably wouldn't even realize that you've been doing that on some shit, man. Yeah. But yeah, man. So, um, like I said, I've been hearing a lot about you. So, you know, yeah. I know you don't work with a lot of different artists out here. Yeah. So, man, go ahead on and enlighten the people and let them know, like, you know, what you've been shit. doing. I don't work with fucking Jay the Young and Young Boy, fucking TC, Main, like, man. Jungle Music, Larry, She Money, Pew, Juice, Go Yellow, like everybody. You, you know been, what I'm saying? You been putting that work in, G. Yo, shit to you, like, nigga trying out to you. What's up, man? How long you been, you been on, uh, like, doing all shit. this? Shit, I started this shit with fucking with music, period. Every, like, just period, whatever. Yeah, man. see, like. Some niggas, you know how niggas born with like a ball in their hand and shit? Yeah. Like you already know this nigga gonna play AAU like, mm -hmm. yeah, like that's how I was like. I was, I was, man, fucking, the VH1 had like a fucking Temptations movie and a, and a Jackson 5 movie. Man, I watched that shit and I, I'm like, I want to be him. Hey, I watched yeah. them bitches when I was a kid too. So. Yeah, I was dancing like them niggas and shit. Like my nigga, they had my my mama from like New Rose. Yeah, man. they used to have some shit called the Christmas walk. Man, I made like two hundred dollars going from house to house doing that shooter wop shit. You heard me? Like yeah. That's what's up. So you been you, you been low key like yeah, just like in the entertainment music. Yeah. yeah, that's what's up, man. Not really in the entertainment, but like just musically inclined. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right, right. Like once I got to like. Fourth grade, fifth grade, like ten years old, I downloaded FL Studio for nine while I started making beats at like fifth grade and shit. You know what I'm saying? Fourth grade, some shit like that. Mm, so y'all hear that, right? So I always tell people this that stuff don't happen overnight. Like just because you just hearing about somebody, that don't mean that they just popped up out the blue. Right. Like this your first if this your first time hearing hearing about this man, this man been making beats since the fifth grade. So like, you know, it work, it take time. 14 years. Yeah, it take time for you to get to where you want to. Like it don't happen like that. But yeah, man, so. <clears throat> all right, I know you ain't always with not smoking. I know at some point you had to like, like mm -hmm. try it. Cause I mean, it, it's always around you being that you a producer, or, like that you an artist, like you hey. said. So, shit, I smoked for the first time at like 12. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That shit was dope. I was loaded as a bitch. Yeah, man. Tell, tell them about that experience. Man, man I was just loaded, man. I was, man, I just had my cousin with me. You heard me? She had kind of stayed all shit for the summer. Right. And the niggas that was standing in the back of us, yeah. I was living in Fairfield. They was thugging. Mm -hmm. So she fine and shit, you know what I'm saying? So niggas is trying to holler at her. And then she like, man, where is it? She got some weed and some X-Pills. She popped a half and snorted a half. Like, Jiggers in this 2006 type shit. Like, oh yeah, that's the Jiggers in, you heard yeah. me? But she got some weed too. 
and I tapped the smoke. I was loaded as fuck. Like you know on the sofa loaded. Like, like stuck. Like went in the house, instantly put my clothes in the dryer to get the smell off me. <laughs> Paranoid, my mom was finna catch me. <laughs> like I'm I'm bugging and shit. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And I kept laughing and shit. I couldn't stop laughing and shit. Yeah. One of my little cousins had to do that shit, like I told him I'd never smoke with him again because we was about to walk in the house and this nigga just bust out laughing. And I was like, dude, what you laughing at? And, and when I started really chiefing, like in high school, I hated niggas that did that shit. Like, I was laughing, laughing at and dude? shit. Like, he like, I don't know. I was like, you gotta go to your house. What? Go home and chill. You get that shit the out. fuck around me. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> type don't, shit. Don't come in here with me like that because they already was on my neck. <laughs> Yo. But yeah, man, so, um, you say you are artist too, so I know you do more than, than just uh, production, so. Right. Like, what? what shit. Last year, like this no bullshit, no cap, cause these niggas be, oh yeah, I got this going on and like I really like last year I dropped eight projects with eight songs on them each. Eight tracks produced by me, eight songs mixed by me. That's sixty four songs. You know what I'm saying? Like Like a like a compilation or like you mm-mm. like I dropped the tape every month. To be real See, I didn't even know. And nobody really do, you know what I'm saying? Like to be real, I kinda brought it on myself the way it uh like people not knowing about it because when you drop something too consistent it's easy because consistency and illusion you heard me right so like you can do something once a year and it's annual is that's consistency you feel me right. but being all the way real i'm a spiritual nigga like god told me to drop eight projects on these special days and shit you know what i'm saying and i did that shit as soon as i did my last tape like I retired from the shit and I started getting placements and shit. So it was like, all right, I understand why you want right, me to, right, you know right. what I'm saying? So everything still worked out. Man. Hell yeah. Trying, I feel that, I feel that. But the only reason I, I make beats and engineer is because I couldn't afford that shit. I wanted to rap and I right. couldn't afford my beats. So I said, I'm gonna make my own make shit. Your own you know shit. what I'm saying? Become a one-stop shop. Type shit. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. Cause I know like, Growing up, when I first started to like fucking with music and shit, like it was like 06, 05. Mm. So back then, they had the internet and everything, but it wasn't necessarily like everybody was going to sound click back then. Yo. Like everybody had the same beats on some shit. Type you vibe, vibe. Yeah. <laughs> Type shit. <laughs> shit like that. You So it was harder back then. So I feel you like starting out because. You don't really have the money to be able to fuck with that shit like you right. want to. But you but you steadily like recording songs over these beats and you paying all the money. Right. Cause back then people was really charged, like engineers was charged a lot to record. Hell yeah. Like, now it was a big thing to be able to record a song. Mm-hmm. Like niggas was still looking at that shit like cutting the record and shit. Man, you know what I'm I saying? Think, I think I was paying like two like a hundred and fifty dollars for a three hour block, like back in two thousand. 2006. So everybody, Shit, nigga, that's straight. I mean, you <laughs> think so? Shit, nigga, I, <laughs> Shit. I, charge, <laughs> I, charge, I don't charge that. I charge more than that for three hours. Always, that sounds like a come up. I always, I always got deals on shit. Like, like right. people will fuck with me. Like, I'll pay that first thing and fuck with them, and then people will fuck with me on, on, on some other shit. Yo. Yeah, I mean, shit, yeah, that's how it go. Mm-hmm. All right, man, so if you dropped all them projects, dog, like, I know you had to be shooting some videos and shit for those bitches, too. I shot one video out of all them songs, and I just shot another one recently, yeah. But I be having to force myself to do that shit. Like, I be so caught up in creating the fucking music, you know what I'm saying? Right. That shit'll throw me off game with it. All the, real, the all the other shit. But now I'm starting to appreciate it more. Like now I want to look at filmography. Like right. I look at this shit. You feel me? I mean, from from what I've noticed, like from what you've been telling me during this interview, is you like to be able to do shit on your own terms. You Hell like yeah. To do it like yourself on some shit. So Yo. if you don't really understand something, it's probably something that you ain't really into. Like I I feel like. I done missed out on opportunities like that too. Uh-huh. You feel me? Cause 
Like the vibe gotta be there. If the vibe ain't there, I don't fuck with like I don't give a fuck how much money, no nothing. If the vibe ain't there then, you know what I'm saying? That shit worthless to me. That's real shit though. So that's how you know like you, you stay away from putting out like bullshit. Like, yeah. Shit. Hell yeah. Like, it'll always be some quality shit. Right. But that's what you want though, cause to be honest, you really don't want your name tied to some bullshit, even if it is. But sometimes the money be really good. <laughs> yeah, real shit. Hell yeah. <laughs> So, man, y'all see you smoking cigarettes, so. Hey, I don't supposed to be smoking these. I got a pen, you heard me? Mm-hmm. I've been on that pen, dog. But I'm full of them addies, son. Huh. I'm on them addies, and them bitches just, these bitches was calling me today. I ain't lying. I, I had a session. My, my session ended at 6 a.m. Yeah. I went home and hopped on fucking Mortal Kombat and... Play with my daughter and came right back here. Well, I gotta ask you, dog, because normally you know people come on and they smoke with me on some shit. Like, so mm. Why? Why don't, why don't you smoke? Do yeah. Shit. This shit. I feel like for me, that shit, I gotta, I gotta be like by myself in a creative space with that shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because my thoughts gonna roam around. See, if I'm in a creative space by myself and shit. I can use these thoughts and acknowledge them for what they is and then create with this shit. Right. If I'm around a whole bunch of fucking shit, that shit just gonna, my thoughts not gonna align. You know what I'm saying? So I don't right. really be fucking with this shit. You kind of, like you said, you're spiritual. You kind of, you did. You look at them differently than how like, people know you were at all. So. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I just be paranoid <laughs> for this shit. I, I've heard that before that the weed will make you paranoid on some shit, so that nigga can't have you paranoid on some Fuck no, he yeah, no. Alright, man, well, Vintage, man, go ahead on and tell everybody what, um, where they can follow you at and everything. You know, if they want some production from you, like, shit. You know, anything like that. Vintage Ripper on every website. How you spell it? V I N T A G E R I P P A H. And you also. Could go on flat3x.com and check out me and my whole click shit. You know what I'm saying? The whole discography. You can buy beats on that bitch. You know what I'm saying? All this shit on that one website. Right, right, man. Y'all heard that, man. Y'all go ahead on and follow him. Y'all check out his beats yeah. and everything, man. All right, man. Uh, but one other thing, man. I heard, I heard from a little birdie that like you, you into battle rap and all some shit, man. People want me to do that shit. I really don't want to fuck with that shit, but I might end up fucking with that shit. Yeah, man, I heard these you. niggas weak. I heard, I heard them come up with some, some shit on the fly, like on some shit. I thought it was nice. And then you had them the videos too. Yeah, about on um, shit, about shit. Dogs yeah, rest in peace, shit, man. That nigga, I fuck with that nigga, man. That nigga, real nigga. Right, man. So I think you should fuck with. It. I think he got mm. some time, y'all. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I might fuck with it and eat these niggas, man. These niggas garbage, man. <laughs> I'm just being real. These niggas shits. Like, man, these niggas ain't... I don't know. These niggas garbage, though. Well, it's been a pleasure having you on the show yeah. with me today, dog. For sure. Man, y- y'all make sure y'all check him out, man. Vintage Rebel, he's doing some hot things, you heard me? Like, maybe y'all might possibly see him doing some battle rapping and shit soon. Mm. If, um, in the meantime, in between time, y'all can check his videos out. Y'all can check out all his, his all his eight projects he said he got out. Like mm-hmm. that's a lot of it's a lot of content for y'all to check out on some shit, man. He's doing some big things, bro. Hell yeah, nigga trying to get it out to Right, right, right. I appreciate y'all checking out, checking this shit out. You heard me, it's legend made, and it's been hella hot.